Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about Router Protocol, alright? It is one of those projects that I have been doing some very much interesting research on and I decided to do a video on it to show you what this project is all about and how to maximize the potentials of this um, project, the blockchain. What exactly is Router Protocol? Now, Router Protocol or Router Chain is a layer one blockchain that leverages Tendermint, Byzantine, Fault Tolerance, Consensus Engine. As a proof of stake POS blockchain, the Router Chain is primarily run by a network of validators with economic incentives to act honestly. The Router Chain is built using the Cosmos SDK and encapsulates all the features of Cosmos including fast block times and uh, bot security mechanism and most importantly Cosm Wasm, a security first smart contract platform. Now by leveraging the custom, um, customizing, <laughs> custom Wasm toolkit, developers can start building secure blockchains application on the router chain from scratch or port their existing applications from other blockchains the router chain with minimal overhead all right what is the major solution that router chain seeks to solve or brings to the table that has to do with the issue of interoperability all right um, router chain as an interoperability layer in addition to its functionality as a blockchain network the router chain provides an innovative solution to the problem of blockchain interoperability Apart from validating state changes on the router chain, validators running on the router chain can also monitor state changes on other chains. Applications on the router chain can write custom, custom logic to trigger events in response to other external state changes. Additionally, applications on the router chain can leverage a trustless network of layers to update states on external chains. Simply put, the router architecture allows contracts on one chain to interact with contracts on another chain in a secure and decentralized manner man i mean that's uh, one of the most talked about and very very crucial issue in the blockchain space interoperability blockchain being able to interact and share um, utilities share resources among themselves without giving headache to the end user that is one of the main solution that uh, also protocol or the router chain is bringing to the blockchain ecosystem next i want to talk about the tokenomics of uh, the router chain right what are the tokenomics of the router chain right route is the native token of the router chain unlike uh, or very much like Ethereum network or Ethereum blockchain, you have it or Ether being the native token by which uh, incentives are distributed among validators, right, in the ecosystem, in the Ethereum ecosystem. Charge fees are paid with it, H or Ether. In the router chain, the route token is going to be used for settling incentives and for fees on the router ecosystem right the route token is very very key to that as you can see on this page here the detailed breakdown of the route token allocation and vesting process for each of the system's major stakeholders now the entirety of the according to the website here it says the entirety of the route total supply has been allocated to different groups and entities in the ecosystem to give everyone skin in the game the majority of the tokens will remain locked for at least three months with a significant part of the holdings released through small monthly unlockings now there would ever exist 20 million tokens just like bitcoin that has 21 million bitcoins that will ever exist so the rouse token has 20 million capped right so and of that only 1 million 22,000 were unlocked on the day zero leaving 94.34 percent of the supply locked for between 3 and 21 months so this is a total allocation of the route to total supply you can see this is very much easy to understand i mean the seed round that was done three percent were allocated they had a private round one 
2.5%, the private round 2, 5.1%, and then there's a reward pool, 17.2% of the total supply goes to the pool. Then the team, the team behind the router blockchain has to keep 15% of the total supply of the route token. And then there are partners and advisors who are going to have 10%, foundation 20%, liquidity provisions have to deal with 1.8%, ecosystem fund has to do with, I think it has the highest share of the supply. It's at about 5.4% of the total supply goes to ecosystem fund. So now, the next thing I want to talk about is why should you get your funds or why should you invest in the route token, right? So now, one major issue in the blockchain space is the ability for different blockchains. We have more than 30 blockchains in the ecosystem, right? Now, all of these ecosystems have their own tokens, right? Their own dApps on each of these blockchains. Now, but there is this difficulty in each of these blockchains interacting with each other, being able to share resources or moving one token from one blockchain to another. And that is what our protocol is out here to solve by creating a basic interoperability between all of these blockchains in the space, right? Now, having said that, what does it mean for you to be able to swap your coin from, say, Ethereum blockchain to the Bitcoin blockchain or from Bitcoin blockchain to Binance Smart Chain without having to go through bridges. That is what the router blockchain is seeking to, or the router um, protocol is seeking to achieve. That makes it very much of a token you want to get into your portfolio because definitely it has a very, very good use case. Protocols who have tried to do this over time have either gone beyond and under right over time. But I think in the coming years, this protocol has a low market cap currently and there is the chance and possibility that it's going to do 10 100x in the next three or four years right so this is one of the reasons why i think you should invest in it but hold on this is not guarantees there are no guarantees in the crypto space and all the information i'm sharing on this video in my channel is not a financial advice do well to do your very own research all right now who are those that have backed the router protocol over time so i would like to go quickly over to some of the industry big industry players that have backed the router protocol uh, over time we have the likes of coinbase ventures qcp um, capital defi capital maple block winter mute polygon woodstock shima capital and coin uh, cx now these are some of the big players in the industry that have invested or uh, advisors or have backed this um protocol the router protocol over time we have uh, currently if you go to voyager app dot the voyager dot io this is their platform where you can easily swap your tokens from one blockchain to another right with minimal or no stress at all so say for instance i have my token on these five supported networks or blockchains we have polygon binance smart chain avalanche arbitrum optimism ethereum and rostock since i decided to say i'll go with avalanche now i want to move my usdc or anchor there are a whole lot of coins or tokens you can actually swap from one blockchain to another so say i want to move usdc usdc right usdc from the avalanche blockchain to optimism you see i'll just key in how much quantity of usdc i want to move from avalanche to optimism right and then it shows me token fee these are minimal fees to swap all of this you can see the fee i'm going to pay in if i'm going to pay with avalanche but most often than not you pay with the fee of your choice you can choose from paying with ussc or routes or dfyn or avax tokens so you can see once i do that i just simply click on swap here i must have connected my wallet first to show my balance and then i can easily swap from one blockchain to another without I don't have to go through bridges right so this is one of the main things about this protocol so let me quickly show you something on the screen um, about this particular token Uh, 
this is router or route usdt you can see the total market cap currently is at 35 points and for a token or a project that talks about interoperability it is really going to be a gold mine i think i'm suggesting but don't take my word for it right but then i mean um in the crypto space nothing is ever certain so uh, looking at the chart here the highest this coin has ever done and that was I think in 2021 Buron, it's hit as high as 1519 usd per route token and then it took a nose dive and you can see it has always sustained this region here this region here i'll just quickly put a line here has always sustained here as support so every time it came down it hits this point here it never broke it even when the luna era luna saga and the ftx saga hit it never broke this region right so i think it's a nice gain if you want to hold on to something or invest into something you can see how much it has to do to get to that point it's going to do a very hard, massive amount of uh, move up and it's very possible i mean it's very likely in these times so that is one reason why i suggest you could get some of this coin some of it in your portfolio if you don't mind right 20 at um, 35.7 million dollars market cap there's still a long way for this token to go for those who want to have some of it in their portfolio i mean it comes with a lot of um, offers in the crypto space you can provide liquidity with it you can mine it uh, so that is that about it i mean do well to do your own research don't take my word for it every information like i said provided on this video on this channel are mainly for information our educational purposes they are not financial advice do your own financial due diligence before investing in cryptocurrency all right please if you like this video do well to hit this like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.